Well, during Earth Week, we are looking at the implications of our changing climate and ways that we can actually cut production of bad greenhouse gases, which is causing global temperatures to rise. Researchers warn major changes are needed or we'll see more frequent extreme weather in the future. Meteorologist Gary Hall explains what it could mean for the Sierra. Warmer temperatures for the Sierra could mean much less snow. In the past, we've seen cold winter storms with higher snowfall totals during the month of December through February. But as temperatures rise, snowpack is expected to decline, with only February is a big snow producing month. Recently, we've had two years of heavy snow, but the elevation of where we're seeing that snow is getting higher and higher. Let's demonstrate what the Sierra snow could could look like in 30 years. Currently, on average, the snow levels come down to about 5,000 feet. But in the year 2054, much of that snow may be 7,000 feet in elevation or higher. And below 6,000 feet, that could mean more rain and more frequent events of flash flooding in the Sierra. Dr. Swartz with the Central Sierra Snow Lab tells us we need to prepare for a warmer future. When we look at the trends every month, um, during our snow season, so October through May, uh, back to the, the 70s, we can see that each of these months is warming, and that means that we're transitioning uh, away from snowfall as the dominant precipitation type to rain. The one month where that isn't happening is in February, and we see cases of that. We saw it last year. We're seeing it this year. We are going to see more rain at the higher elevations up to that 7,000 feet, um, and depending on the storm, potentially even above that. And so we are going to see the, the likelihood of more flooding if these are big atmospheric rivers, uh, even at the higher elevations where there used to be snowfall. So it's really going to reshape the way that we are uh, living through these storms and these experiences as a whole. Our climate coverage continues all week long. Join us for more stories on NBC Bay Area and on our Climate and Crisis page online.